time to talk your money. America's credit rating taking a real hit right now. The U.S. debt rate has been downgraded for only the second time in history. And Local 10's Hal Silvella is joining us. He's in Hollywood right now with what that means for your wallet. Christy, certainly a big deal in the financial world, in the world of Wall Street. But what does it really mean here on Main Street? The financial world is watching closely. Fitch Ratings downgraded the U.S. debt rating from a perfect AAA to a AA+. Plus. The effects already being felt. The three major indexes were down by mid-morning. Global stocks also fell Wednesday. I am monitoring the markets with the big news today. Which is why we were at his office. This is Chad Neesmith, a portfolio analyst at Tobias Financial Advisors. A credit rating downgrade hasn't happened since 2011. In fact, it's the second time in history it happens. The credit rating agency says they did it because of a steady deterioration in standards of governance over the last 20 years. That simply means Washington cannot get its act together. Just this May, both parties bickered over raising the debt limit to keep the government from defaulting on its financial obligations. Part of this has to do with the, just overall the polarization that we've seen in politics over the long term. Today, the Treasury Secretary says she strongly disagrees with the downgrade, pointing to positives in the economy. Its flawed assessment is based on outdated data and fails to reflect improvements across a range of indicators. Experts say a downgrade could make it harder for the government to borrow money. So what about the short term and what does this mean for the average American? The, the main effect would be possible higher taxes in the future. Today, really not much in effect. As a certified financial planner and analyst, Neesmith tells us if you have a financial plan, stick to it and don't make any drastic changes based on the credit downgrade. If the market's down, it's a, it's a good day to buy most of the time. And so you saw the raising the debt limit is one of the reasons that we're here in this situation. Again, that expected to another conversation about that expected to happen once again in 2025. We'll keep monitoring and tell you what happens then, of course, for now reporting live in Hollywood. I'm Hatsavala, Local 10 News. Hatsal, thank you.